If you're looking to take a cruise to Alaska, you only have six months out of the year to make it happen. The cruise season lasts from April to October, but fortunately there are a multitude of ships that cruise to our northernmost state during that period every year. And while it's great to have a nice variety of lines, destinations, and amenities to choose from, there are some pretty big differences from ship to ship. So depending on what you're looking to get out of your particular journey, you might choose a vastly different ship than someone else. So join Vucation as we present the best Alaskan cruise lines for your next vacation. Adventuring on and offshore If you're the type who isn't looking to just bask in the sun or stare off at the splendor of nature, there are plenty of cruise options for you. Several Alaskan cruises are built with the adventurous type in mind, and they offer many types of active fun both on and offshore. And considering Alaska offers incredible attractions like Denali, the tallest mountain in North America, no one would blame you for not wanting to stay on the ship for an entire cruise. For so-called cruise tours, which are designed as a part sailing, part on-land adventure, the two biggest names are Princess Cruises and Holland America. They both have been in operation for more than half a century, and they each send six ships to Alaska yearly. These ships don't simply drop you off at the shore and leave you to fend for yourself in terms of seeing the attractions. Both companies own lodging and land transportation to bring you all around the shoreline and further in. They can often go into Glacier Bay too, which is something many other lines can't offer. You can book a 10-night tour or a 17-night tour with these companies, and each will start off with a longer cruise segment, followed by an excursion inland to explore the interior of Alaska. They'll move you around by trains, buses, and sometimes you'll fly to certain destinations. Of note for Holland America is their ship, Koningsdam, which is a great option for trips that include inland journeys to Denali, the Yukon, Fairbanks, and more. And as far as the Princess line, the Majestic Princess has a great option where you bop from National Park to National Park, including Glacier Bay, the Kenai Fjords, Denali, and Wrangell St. Elias. Mega Resorts there is a newer phenomenon happening in the world of cruises, and it's referred to as mega resorts. It refers to ships that attempt to offer pretty much anything you could ever want on a trip, so that you never have to leave during the entire duration of your sail. These ships come with more attractions and amenities than you can imagine, everything from Broadway shows to casinos and all the ritzy glamour you'd expect. And they shuttle thousands of people at a time, all of whom are content to be wined and dined as they cruise the seas. The most popular mega resort companies that sail to Alaska are Royal Caribbean and Norwegian. A popular Royal Caribbean ship is Ovation of the Seas. It has some wild perks to say the least. You can literally, well not literally, go skydiving and surfing on board. Both activities are simulated, but when you're doing them, they certainly feel real. Plus, you can strike up a digital conversation at the bar as you're served by a robot bartender. Then cap off the afternoon with a trip in a glass capsule that hovers over the ship on a giant robotic arm. A popular Norwegian ship is the Encore. This has all the glitz and glamour people expect on a mega resort cruise, and it adds in some fun onboard activities too. You can literally go on a go-kart ride on top of a ship, which is not something you see every day. Plus, they have a full water park with huge slides, as well as a laser tag area and more. More affordable cruises if you're a cruiser on a budget, there are still some great options for you. Generally speaking, the older a ship is, the cheaper it'll be. That's not because they aren't safe or anything, but because they aren't equipped with many of the modern amenities like the ones on the mega resorts. Still, if you're not someone who needs a lot of bells and whistles, and you're looking to have a more traditional cruise experience in Alaska, they can be a great way to go. Royal Caribbean and Norwegian have several older ships that go to Alaska and have some more affordable rates. The same is true for Princess and Holland America. One nice thing for some people is that because these older ships don't have a ton of new and fun activities and equipment, they tend to not attract as many families with children. So if you're rolling solo or with a significant other, and you don't want the noise of tons of kids bopping around, this could be a great way to go. Other options for saving money include specific rooms you choose. If you're okay not going with one of the balcony cabins, you can save money that way. Or if you time your purchase right, you can still get a balcony room for cheaper price. Try to book far in advance before the balcony cabin prices go up as they get more scarce. You can also choose a trip not in peak season. April to June is a time when most cruise lines offer more affordable rates. September as well. As far as specific ships go, Radiance of the Seas is a ship owned by Royal Caribbean that's been doing its thing for two decades. You can snag tickets for a one-way sail from Vancouver to Seward at under 100 bucks per person, which is a pretty great deal. 
There are also the Majestic Princess and Grand Princess ships. They tend to offer great deals, including current promotions for May of 2023. You can snag an inside cabin for just under 500 bucks. Both these ships are great value for money, especially if you time your booking right. Family Friendly Cruises if you're going to bring your family on an Alaskan cruise, you're more likely going to want a newer ship. That's because the more recent additions to each cruise line are more likely to appeal to the young and young at heart. And the competition between all the cruise lines has made it so they're always trying to add the latest and greatest and most fun amenities to each of their ships. And that's a huge bonus for families looking to take an Alaskan cruise. So the latest and greatest ships from lines like Disney, Carnival, and Royal Caribbean are going to be your best bet. Each of the newest ships on these lines come equipped with kid-friendly activity galore and often have amusement rides that the whole family can hop on and enjoy. As far as Disney ships go, the Princess and the Wonder are two that definitely appeal to families big and small. Disney Wonder is packed with a lot of great entertainment and rides for the kiddos, like fast-moving water slides and programs set up for both kids and teens. They also come with room facilities geared towards families with split bathrooms in the cabins. The Princess doesn't have quite as many attractions on board as the Disney Wonder, but as the newest ship in the line, it's as modern and fresh as can be. It has wonderful teen and kids programs that'll make your kids feel like there's always something to do on board. There's also a program where they bring sled dogs onto the ship and people on board can interact with them. Now that's something none of the family will forget. The Carnival Spirit is another great family-friendly ship. For starters, they struck up a partnership with the folks who market Dr. Seuss, so there's a lot of fun Dr. Seuss theming going on. Combine that with three specific areas for kids and teens to hang out in, plus a ton of great water slides, and you've got a ship guaranteed to make kids have fun. And the food on board has a vibe of family dinner, since they offer up tacos, burgers, pizza, and more. You'll feel like you're back in your living room as you dine, until you remember to look outside and notice the incredible Alaskan scenery around you. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been on an Alaskan cruise? If so, which line did you sail on, and would you recommend it? And if not, do you think you'll ever go on one? Let us know in the comments section below.